things these new types of technology and the the computational power of breakthrough listen and the extra uh time that they're going to get on radio telescopes and things to look for um these these different signals or these maybe find another mega structure that's not a mega structure or whatever to find find any trace of a civilization is is ramping up now more than it ever has yeah um, i mean it looks like within the next couple of few years we're going to have like orders of magnitude more data than yeah. we've ever had before yeah specifically related to, to this kind of stuff yeah um, and also be able to like go through it better and 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 pick out the signals from the noise and all that kind of stuff yeah. with the computational side of it um, like the whole breakthrough listen thing which we've talked about a few times like part a big part of that is the computational stuff as we said yeah um so so yeah like now is now's the time now's, <laughs> now's a good time, time yeah to to be to be betting on when we might discover these sorts of things we could next year find something yeah and then totally. it's all over yeah. um but i i kind of think we should finish this topic yeah this question by trying to answer well, trying to answer the question and giving giving some sort of opinion each Just put our, put our on opinions what, on the on line whether whether we think like on what our chances are of, of finding a civilization or coming into contact with an alien civilization mm -hmm. firstly as like i'm talking so in the in the entire future history potentially of our civilization mm -hmm. do you think we'll ever come in contact with them right and then if if if, if you think yes how far in the future is that going to be so we, so the questions that no one has an answer to we're going to try and give a very okay. ballpark figure so i've got a sort of rough all right go for not it not a figure necessarily go for head. it go for it because i'm not sure <laughs> So I, I think after we've discussed this now, yeah, it seems like the more obvious of the, the 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 kind of Fermi paradox answers is probably is probably that we're an early civilization. Mm. To me, that seems like the most, the one that the one that's kind of got its hooks in me the most at the moment, um, and consequently, I feel like as long as I, if if that is true then it's not necessarily true that we're going to destroy ourselves or that human civilization will, will disappear. Mm -hmm. So I think it's possible that in the future, very distant future, we might come into contact with an alien civilization. I feel like that's going to be in potentially millions of years. Okay. Um, such, like, there's almost no way, unless we develop some way of, of putting me in a jar and, like, Futurama and I can just be ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I won't see that and Which won't is... ever hear about it because I feel like we're actually probably much earlier in... The development of these things being of planetary development clearly based on that paper about you know you're talking yeah, about yeah, planets yeah planet formation being at the low end of what of what the over overall planetary formation in the universe yeah um and the fact that it took this long on earth like a third of the age of the universe to get to us um once life had developed so my bet would be civilization we yes we'll come into contact with them but it will not be for a very, very long time. Okay. So my, as you were talk, saying that, like I sort of form my my opinion, and it's it's very, very similar to that <laughs> because I, I think I think as you said, like I really don't already, want it to be true. I know, but, I know. Yeah. I want I want I want the detection to happen like next year. <laughs> I, mean, I want that detection to happen like in my lifetime. Now. I mean that unbelievable, like the effects of that might have on like on my life, on like the, the on the earth and stuff. It would be well, the well. We're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about next this. episode. Next is going episode. to be a, about specifically about the effects that that um, the coming into contact with an alien civilization might have on our civilization, on, yeah. on, on life on Earth. Yeah. So, like currently, like what would yeah. happen if we did make that such a detection? So, we're going to talk yeah. about that yeah. next time. Yep. But even though I would love, I would absolutely love for that to happen. I at the moment, and I'm just going to say, like my my opinion on this does tend to go up and down quite a lot, like week by week, yeah. depending on like how I'm yeah. feeling or like what I've read yeah. recently or whatever. Sure. Um, so so does mine. Yeah, but I'm actually feeling pretty pessimistic about it right now. And I would say I agree with you that if we do detect something, if we do make contact with something, it's going to be in a very very long time, like million. If we're around millions of years, um, possibly never. Possibly never. Possibly <sighs> never. Um, I, I actually, I mean, it's just a matter of opinion, obviously. But like, Millions, my, my but current feeling is that we are super rare, like super rare. That's just what I'm thinking at the moment. And yeah. six months ago, I had sort of the opposite answer. Yeah, I was like, ah, life's everywhere. Like life, you know, is is is. Yeah, you know, we just made the same organic chemistry is everywhere. You know, yeah. that, that was my opinion decide. six months ago. I can't decide. But, so, but yeah, yeah. I think I feel like actually this is quite a fleeting thing because then you think about. If, if we found life on Mars, you know, Mars looked... Ha for example, if you just look at Mars, for example, yeah. and, and potentially Venus, they were potentially 
they would mars was 100 percent habitable in the past definitely yeah um venus maybe but if if it's just a habitable environment that you need for life then actually it might be so super common that the chances of there being you know say like 30 other planets that have had life for millions of years already um that's you know the intelligent life mm. for millions of mm. years is quite high mm. so in that sense it's kind of like maybe we should maybe that small amount of planetary formation at the start is actually enough um to to actually for us to find them eventually within our civilized you know our civilization's yeah. lifespan which is possible but i still i i think my i think i was going to stick to my opinion of it being something that's probably in the distant future if borderline might never happen mm. um but i i really 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 hope i'm wrong oh, man, i know i really i just don't i don't the idea of that is horrible i hate that idea yeah i hate it yeah i think it's one of the things i hate more than almost anything else <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty extreme but i i, I know what you mean like when, when you really when you really think about it when you really really stop and think about it you're never gonna you it's never gonna you know that even if they do exist which they probably do that we're never going to know but in, in our lifetime we're almost yeah, certainly um, almost know. certainly not um <sighs> crushing <laughs> Oh, I hate it. Oh, <laughs> Why have we done this topic? Well, next week's going to be more... Because it's fucking interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I, I hate the prospect of it, but like, I love talking about it. I just I yeah. love like, all the... Like, exploring it. Because, yeah. like, I mean, if that's if that's what it... If that is the nature of it, then that's the nature of it. Like, you know, yeah, you, yeah. You know it's just got it's it's just got to get on with it. It's just a thing, yeah. Um, exactly. It's just the way it is. And be the, be the pioneering civilization that we are. Yeah. Oh, that's and not destroy ourselves. Not, like... Well, that sh- we're more precious than maybe we think. Maybe we're not as common as, as actually you you, you might assume. I still th- again though. I keep coming back to like, but like there's loads of ha- exoplanets in like habitable zones. We've discovered like twenty percent of the stars we looked at yeah. so far have got. Come on, like it's so- surely within the next few years there's going to be like shit. There's loads of oxygen on this planet, or like there's a weird like yeah. chemical disequilibrium in the atmosphere of that exoplanet in the habitable zone there's something weird going on there. i'm changing my opinion <laughs> <laughs> just to argue yourself like round to the other opinion i could i could argue myself back round. yeah there. i reckon i probably could as well shit we haven't given them an answer we've given you an answer we've, we've given them an that's answer. fine that's fine yeah, yeah. um would we'll maybe just do this video again in like six months yeah <laughs> yeah give a yeah. different answer yes yeah that would be fine <laughs> um yeah so our, our our answer what are our chances of detecting alien intelligence are right now low pretty low i'd say um but, oh, we, but we crushes me but we hope we're wrong